Hey everyone, so it's time for another lip product usage project pan update. So I'm basically doing this project going through every single one of my lip products to make sure that I actually like them and want to keep all of them. I do have quite a few lip products and I just wanted to do this also to get use out of all of my lip products as well. So this is basically just a project five uses with all of my lip products and I'm gonna continue this until I've gone through every single lip product in my collection. At any given time, I have six lip products in this project, so let's just go ahead and get into the update. So the first product is a lip liner from ColourPop. This is in the shade O Snap, and I had rolled this in a couple months ago. I only needed to use it two more times to hit my five usage goal, and I did do that. This is like my favorite nude lip liner in my collection. It's just the perfect My Lips But Better color, and I do want to find a dupe for this because I don't purchase from ColourPop anymore. I'm obviously not really close to finishing this, but I would like to find a similar lip liner before I do end up finishing this one. The next one is a gloss from NYX. This is their butter gloss in the shade Ginger Snap. Again, this was one I had rolled in a couple months ago and I needed to use this three more times to get five uses out of it and I did do that. This looks very intimidating in the packaging. The NYX Butter Gloss formula is one of my favorite gloss formulas. And it does look very intimidating and dark in the packaging, but when it goes on my lips, I can sheer it out a little bit. So it's really not that bad. It just kind of makes my initial lip color a shade or two deeper. And I can obviously build this up as well to get like that sort of full pigment. So I like that you can sheer these out, but you can also build them up to get that full impact. So this looks intimidating. So I feel like I don't reach for it, but I need to reach for it more because it is really, really beautiful. It just makes my lip color a little bit deeper than it already is. And then we have the Urban Decay. This is the Lip Chemistry, Stay Naked Vice Lip Chemistry in the shade Pink Slip. And this is a really, really pretty, almost lilac, cool toned lip product. And this is pretty new to my collection, so I haven't gotten a ton of use out of this, but I did end up using it five times. I only needed to use it once more to get five uses out of it, and I did do that. I really, really love this lip color. I find that I love really cool tone products and lip colors and it's hard to find a good cool tone lip product so i'm really really glad that i have this one in my collection and then we have the three products that i actually ended up rolling in last time so i did end up getting five uses on my fenty fussy gloss these glosses hold so much product but i feel like this one is like the next one i'm gonna have done after my hot chocolate gloss which i'm working on finishing now and i took the stopper out of that one as well but this one doesn't even have the stopper out and there's still a ton more product left in it. But obviously this is the other more neutral shade that I have in these glosses. So I think this will be the next one to be finished. This is one of my favorite gloss formulas. So I will be keeping it in my collection. I do really, really love this gloss. And like I said, I did get five uses out of this. So I will be rolling it out of the project. And then the other lipstick that I did also end up getting five uses on in one month is my Oma Beauty lipstick in the shade Coretta. This is the only lipstick I've had in a project, so it was kind of easy for me to get five uses out of this. But this is a really pretty kind of nudie pink shade. I don't even know how to describe this shade. I feel like it looks different when I apply it to my lips compared to how it looks in the bullet, but I do really, really love this lipstick. I love this formula. It's a matte formula, but it's super comfortable on the lips. And this packaging just feels super luxurious, so I kind of want to buy more shades in this, but I don't need any more lipsticks because I rarely ever finish off lipsticks, and lipsticks take me so long to go through, so I will be keeping this in my collection. This is definitely my favorite matte lipstick formula. The last lip product, and the only one that I didn't get five uses out of yet, is my Iconic London Lip Gloss in the shade nearly nude which obviously is just like a nude it's sort of like a peachy nude color and i do really like this gloss it is plumping so it makes my lips a little bit tingly when i do apply it but this is just a really easy everyday nude shade so i would rather like completely finish this off than declutter it i do prefer to completely pan products instead of decluttering i feel like if i had if i had to choose and i really had to get my lip gloss collection down this is one that I would declare just because I feel like I don't reach for it, but I I do like this just as a natural everyday lip gloss shade. So I will keep this in my collection and hopefully finish it off within the next year or so. I did get three uses out of this, so I still need to get another two uses. So this one will be staying in this project. 
Now to pick five new lip products. So I do have the rest of my lip products. These are the lip products that I have with me here at school that have not been included in this project yet. So these are the only ones I have with me. I believe there's about 10. So I'm just gonna randomly dig into here and pick one. I'm not even gonna look at what I'm picking. So we have another NYX Butter Gloss. This one is in the shade Tiramisu, which again is another everyday natural shade. So this should be pretty easy to get five uses out of. And since these are almost the only lip products I have in projects, I have rolled a couple lip products into projects, so I do have a couple more to work on. But these are pretty much the only lip products that I've been working on. That's how I got five uses out of almost all of them this past month. And then picking the second one, and I do already feel what it is. This is the Physician's Formula Liquid Lipstick in the shade All Natural Nude. I never really wear liquid lipsticks, which I've gotten, like I decluttered most of the liquid lipsticks in my collection, but this is a perfect nude shade. So hopefully I can figure out a way to get five uses out of this. I mean, this would look really pretty as a blush, but I probably would only end up actually wearing this on my lips probably when I film YouTube videos because when I'm at school, I really just apply natural makeup looks. I never really apply even a full on lipstick, let alone a liquid lipstick. So I feel like I may not wear this like on an everyday basis, but I could use it as a blush, but I'm already panning so many cream blushes. So this one may take a little bit longer to get five uses out of. And then for the third product, I just picked out the Catrice lipstick. All the writing has rubbed off of this and I'm pretty sure these aren't available anymore, but this is just like a little balm type product. It's like a tinted balm basically. So again, this is another really easy everyday color to throw on and there is quite a bit of product left in this. I would like to pan this at some point, but this will be another relatively easy one to get five uses out of. We have two more left to pick. So the next one is a ColourPop lip liner in the shade BFF, which is actually a really natural nude color. It's like a pretty neutral tone nude. So again, this is another one that's gonna be pretty easy to get five uses out of. I feel like most of my lip product collection is nudes, so I find it pretty easy to wear them. And I only ever really wear nudes, so it's kind of good that my lip collection is only nudes because I know I will get use out of all of them, and that is kind of the purpose of this project, to get rid of anything that I know I won't wear. And then the last one, I'm gonna mix these up a little bit because there's not many products left and I kind of know what I'm reaching for, but I just picked out the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip. This is in the shade Zuma, which again is a really more neutral color, but it is a liquid lipstick. Like I said, I don't really reach for liquid lipsticks, but this I could get away with more on an everyday basis since it is that ultra blotted lip formula. It's a little bit less intense than your typical liquid lipstick. So I feel like I could pretty easily get five uses out of this. It may take me a little bit longer just because it is a liquid lipstick. I tend not to reach for it, but that is all of the lip products that I chose for this round. Hopefully I can get five uses out of some of them. I feel like I will be able to get five uses out of most of them, just like the last update. So let me know if you guys do enjoy this project and I will continue to do different types of projects like this with different categories of my makeup collection. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do post new videos about three times a week. So if you wanna see more from me, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified every time I post. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.